Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I'm wanting to share with you a modification that I did to my Xiaomi Yi high definition uh, action camera that I use on my quadcopter for filming for my YouTube channel and, and so forth. Now the Xiaomi Yi comes ready to go out of the box. However, one of its major downfalls in my perspective is its ability to capture the audio that the quadcopter is putting out with the motors uh, because it's affected by the wind and, uh, and a lot of background noise comes in. So I'm going to walk you through the steps of how I replaced the microphone with a new microphone super cheap mod that's going to give you crystal clear quadcopter audio for your videos. So the first thing I want to say is that I've done this a couple of times with my first Yi. Uh, it did work. Um, that Yi has you know, since uh, <laughs> expired and I've moved on to a new one. And so when I got this new one, the first thing I did was open the box up pull the thing apart and replace this microphone. The first thing that we want to do is to take the SD and the battery out and then we're going to need to take the face plate off. Now it's important not to use something really harsh like a screwdriver or something. If you've got some sort of like something softer, maybe um, a hard piece of plastic or something and you just need to work around it, the first time is the most difficult. Uh, it will come off a lot easier after that first time, um, but you just need to work around it. Uh, I've got a shot here so that you can see where the clips actually are, so you can work around those particular clips as well. While I've got this photo up, just take note of the little brass square on the front of the uh, Yi there. That is something that I might talk about in a moment uh, in regards to the you know some of the error codes that I sometimes see uh, after impacts. So once we've got the front plate off there are I think four screws that need to be removed. Uh, so it's fairly simple now um, we just do those four screws you just need to be really careful obviously when uh, with, with working with these uh, finer electronics and so forth especially some of these ribbon tapes and so forth so just be gentle as uh, once you've got those four screws out You'll just be uh, then pulling uh, that unit out. Now you may need to leverage it a little bit with maybe a screwdriver or something like a flathead, something something um, you know small and, and light to, to get that off. Now I just want to also point out, I mentioned that little brass pad on that front pad. Well, you see here this little um, switch here. I'm not entirely sure, so someone with more electrical engineering experience may be able to correct me here, but I feel like this creates a circuit and this is like a little button that gets pushed down when the uh, when the uh, faceplate is pushed on. And what can happen is in under impact, uh, like you know, if you, if I crash enough times on my quad, uh, the the pin, if you go back and look at that brass pad, um, it, it actually dints it and it struggles to make contact and uh, and create a circuit. And this is represented by an error code in the startup sequence of the camera. Um, it doesn't beep quite the same, and sometimes often flashes a red light as well. Now it may still boot up and even start filming, but I've often found that that will then start cutting out midway through flight and so one solution that I found is to uh, just basically put some solder on that pad at the, on the front plate and build it up so that there's a bit more um, bit, bit, it's a bit uh, larger so it, it pushes in easier and um, and also to run a zip tie around the whole camera at the bottom there where that is just to give it a bit more pressure so once we uh, take the unit like I guess the circuit board out of the uh, of the camera case you can see here the microphone at the top and what we're going to be doing is removing that so that you see that brown tape we're going to actually remove that brown tape um, there next to the uh, the microphone and that's going to expose the two little solder pads so sorry about the focus on some of these images I was just doing this as I as I did my mod quickly so we're going to desolder those two pins. Uh, so go ahead and do that and remove that microphone uh, uh, off the main board. 
note just to keep your soldering iron tip um, not too hot because these these are small little pads and you definitely don't want to nuke and uh, fry off those pads lift a pad uh, while doing this now I went ahead and bought a whole I think there was maybe 10 or 20 of these miniature microphone uh, pieces off eBay or Alibaba or somewhere like that I'll put a link in the description so you can uh, get them they work relatively they work really they work great um, just a note here that the the line uh, the, the pad on the bottom with the little three uh, runoff lines that is actually the negative okay now uh, what I've done is I've actually gone ahead and soldered onto that um, I've then um, put some hot glue over the whole base because when you install it, it actually touches up against other circuitry on the actual camera boards. So I've um, also run some heat shrink around the actual uh, microphone as well, just to make sure that if that, because it was metal, um, I just really wanted to make sure that that was all covered off as well. So coming back, we're just going to solder that in to the same place that the uh, that the old old one was in but you will see that's quite a bit larger as well now I'm not particularly sure as to why that is um, but yeah basically uh, it, it is going to be a little bit more tricky to get back into that same spot so uh, as you can see here there's actually a piece of rubber um, that's that was twice the size and what I've done is I've gone ahead and uh, taken that rubber piece out and I've cut it in half and pushed it back in to make room for the other microphone uh, to, to slot back in here. So here's the piece of rubber here. Um, you can just throw that other half away. You're not going to need that and just ram that back in here. Um, that's obviously stabilizing the uh, camera lens and sensor. So it's a bit of vibration dampening. So you definitely want that in there. So next thing I did was uh, just applied some hot glue. I wanted this to be uh, you know, relatively stable in here. I also replaced that um, that tape that was there previously. And look, this is from my old mod, but I wanted to include this, uh, that basically you know, in my previous mod, I just used some electrical tape here, but I had put a whole lot of foam in here. And again, I'll also point out that I'm not mounting the microphone facing up like the original. I've got it down here, and it, look, this is going to mean that general um, audio is not going to be captured as well. Uh, it is going to be quite muffled, but I'm really using this specifically to record my quadcopter and get that cl nice clean um, motor sound um, for the backing to my videos. So I've also then stuffed this uh, foam in here, again, uh, more wind dampening uh, and so forth. And yeah, that was my previous, previous attempt to this. Now, before we go and mount this back in, uh, this little square here, that is going to need to be uh, cut out so that the new microphone can fit in there. So go ahead and just, uh, I just use some uh, you know, clippers, pliers, whatever, and basically just cut that out um, and get away with, get all of that out of there so that you're going to get the clearance that you need. And that's it, uh, you know, put, put it all back together, put the screws back in and, um, and give it a test. <laughs> Hope you found that uh, helpful. Uh, it certainly has allowed me to get much clearer audio out of my Xiaomi Yi for uh, HD footage from my quadcopter. Uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully that's been helpful. And if you um, do this mod and have any other ideas on how you could improve on it or, or if it's been beneficial for you, please hit like, um, drop a comment in the uh, in below and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can uh, keep up to date with all of the footage that I've got planned uh, coming out. So thanks again for watching everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Happy flying.